Hi everybody, Jim Davis along with the Buckeye Boy. This is the dugout, our little video presentation from the Jim Davis Show. Weekday morning, 7 to 10 on the Team Sports Network. Coming to Rifle on the FM soon. I promise I would not lie to you. We'll be doing that soon. Well, as soon as our technical folks get that so all we, up we and running. We won't be doing anything. No, we'll just be talking weekday mornings, but hopefully they'll have that very, very soon in the Rifle area. Okay, before we get into some of the, the news of the week, Metallica. Yes, you were at Metallica in Salt Lake City, right? Yes, last Friday. Favorite moment of the show would have been what for you? Well, favorite moment of, of my experience would have been um, at, at during one song, my nephew who went with us, he's eight, looking at me like, who is this crazy person here? Because he doesn't see the Metallica-loving metal show guy all the time. He sees the weird wearing basketball shorts way too early in the night, ready to go to bed, uncle. So he was like, who? So you're like, yeah! Was, Are you doing that kind I of thing, scaring the hell him. out of him? Yeah, he was like, who is this weird, crazy person having to sit down because he's too dizzy from all the lights, just not ready for it? That was my favorite part of the concert. It was the best time I've seen him, though. Third time I've seen him, best show I've seen him put on. Best song. Best song of the favorite, night. Or favorite song. Favorite song uh, for whom the bell tolls, followed closely by one. Very good. Okay, there's your Salt Lake City Metallica tour stock Sweet review. Sweet merch, too. Yeah. That's pretty nice. So, the shirt one of hardwired three. tour. Very good. Yeah, good I am jealous, by the way. I'm still waiting for my day to see Metallica. Hopefully before they all keel over. Or I keel over, I'll get a chance to see They're them. only a couple of years older than you. So I know. They're, well, they're still doing good. You know, they yeah. put on almost a two-hour rock show. They're, they're, they're in fine shape. Okay, well, very good. I'm glad to hear that. At least there's going to be a chance down the road for me to catch them. All right, the University of Colorado Buffaloes. We thought that Mel Tucker was going to be the head coach, the Georgia defensive coordinator. We still think he's going to be the head coach. So last weekend, every media outlet had Mel Tucker going to Colorado to be the head coach. He's 46 years old, played uh, football at Wisconsin for Barry Alvarez. Super smart guy. Uh, was the interim coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars for three or four games during his time in the NFL. But this will be his really first head coaching opportunity. Everything this last weekend said Mel Tucker's going to be the Buffs coach. And then we got the press release from CU saying, Rick George, their AD, has not offered the job to anybody. Now we're hearing today, on this Wednesday, that it's going to be Mel Tucker. Maybe sometime next week we might get an official announcement from the Buffs. I'm trying not to yawn. This is just a really boring hire, in my opinion. If it ever happens, the denial is weird. It, national reports are saying Mel Tucker is going to be this head coach, and they come out really strong with the, we haven't offered the job to anybody, we haven't been in discussions. Not a, it, it's kind of strange, isn't it? It's really odd. And I think the Darren Cheverini thing that, that Rick George wants, Cheverini, who's the co-offensive coordinator, their head of recruiting, that that's kind of a, uh, a situation that has to happen, that Cheverini has to stay there, be on Tucker's staff. I'm kind of wondering if that has not been of a hang-up here. You you don't seem like you're very happy about this hire. I actually like the hire. I think I think Mel Tucker at 46, the the fact that I think that he can make the Buffs really good defensively. We saw what happened with uh, with Cal and how they they got better on the defensive side. The offensive pieces are there. Stephen Montez, Lavisca Chenault. They lose Trayvon McMillan. I think the Buffs can get better defensively. The offense will come, and I think Tucker can make that happen. And, and maybe I I don't know. I this whole. Let's everybody hire an SEC assistant because he's going to be able to bring all of those SEC caliber players to your school flung across the country. I don't buy that. We've tried that twice in the state already, Jim McElwain and Mike Bobo, and neither of them have brought significant talent upgrades to Colorado State, and I don't think it's going to happen to Colorado either. And, you know, great. He's got a fantastic recruiting class coming into Georgia, but also the logo on the polo helps just as much as his words that come out of his mouth, whatever he tells parents. And that's just, that's my opinion. Well, I, It's an uninspiring hire to me. But I think that's part of the reason why they want Cheverini to stay, because he has developed that, that connection with Texas recruits, with California recruits, two areas that Colorado absolutely has to, they have to win in those states. And, and, and so I, I think that that's a big reason why they want him to stay around is for that. But I think, I think Tucker, I think Tucker's going to do a great job. I, if they decide to hire Mel Tucker whenever it becomes official. I, I like the hire more than you do. Um, Nuggets play tonight on this Wednesday against Orlando. They continue to play great basketball. They, uh, they had the win at Toronto the other night. Big win. 
where uh, Nikola Jokic had a, a, a triple-double in that game, played extremely well. So did Jamal Murray going back to the, the homeland, back yeah. to Canada for that one. The Gary Harris injury, though, that, that creates some problems. But I, I really I love the depth of this basketball team, the way um, Malik Beasley's played, the way Trey Lyles has played off the bench. Uh, Plum Dog Millionaire has been outstanding. And they've got great contributions from uh, the guy was named the Player of the Week and Paul Millsap. I like the way I love the way the Nuggets are playing. I just like love the way they're playing right now. Oh, absolutely! And some of the guys last year, some of the more maligned guys last year, are playing well this year. Monty Morris, like you mentioned, Malik Beasley. Juancho, yeah, Monte Morris has been great. Juancho Hernan Gomez have they've all been playing well, you know. And guys, Torrey Craig when he's in the lineup, Trey Lyles when he comes off the bench. A lot of these guys are playing really well. The depth is playing really well. While you know Jamal Murray tries to work his way through some struggles. Nikola Jokic tries to work his way through whatever's going on in his head and some you know sometimes his body so it's nice to have this depth hopefully you won't have to deplete it all year long with guys like Gary Harris continually being out and and you think about it that they've you know Isaiah Thomas hasn't even sniffed the floor yet for them and they're playing some great basketball right now uh kind of wrap it up here we have the uh Wildcat in uh classic girls basketball tournament that starts on Thursday Fruit of Monmouth, they lose Riley Snyder to graduation, Angelique Gall, Mackenzie Wells, uh, Satori Carver, all played. Seven with, seniors last year. Yeah, seven seniors of that basketball team. Uh, obviously, one of them went to play Division I mm-hmm. with Riley Snyder going to Air Force. And here they are, 3-0 and to start the season. Right. Callie Allen, I, like I said, I think the last couple of years, I, I really expected her to kind of come on and mm-hmm. be the next big time player for them and Callie Allen's doing that right now leads them in scoring and rebounding yeah Callie Allen's doing a great job for them leading that team Rosa Lopez also uh, doing some well or another Rigsby rolling through for the monument so they're they have a pretty good uh, group of kids that are filling in for those seven departed seniors and you know, it's not a rebuild. It's a reload at Fruit of Monument. It's not bad when you get a player like Lila Deer, too, that has not been playing basketball. Yeah, Great just soccer into player. the gym to play some hoops. Shaverage in almost four steals a game. Nice little uh, addition yeah. for Michael Wells coming out of the uh, Fruit of Monument that's, soccer program. That's good AD depth is what that is. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, to make sure you catch the show weekday mornings, 7 to 10, the Jim Davis Show. Don't forget, you can get the podcast at our website, theteam1340.com. Also on iTunes. We'll see you next time.